No, they're actually sharing a lead coming from the terminal AC splitter. And that's appropriate because the AC splitter block will have four terminals for ground, four terminals for neutral, and four terminals for live. So that will support all of your accessories while taking only three leads, which is the IEC power inputs leads of live, neutral, and ground, and splitting those individual leads by using the AC terminal splitter into multiple connections. And that's exactly what you see here. If you guys take the time to study this diagram, it will pay you over and over again. I cannot emphasize that enough. And when guys say, well, why do you charge what you charge? Think about the amount of time it takes me to build this kind of wiring diagram. You notice this isn't just a point A to B diagram. It's actually showing you the correct wiring. Once again, not daisy chaining. Everything here, if it's done and followed properly, will yield you the best possible system right down to the ground splitter, which is to be used to connect all motor and accessory cable shield drains. And you see exactly how that's connected. And in this way, everything once again has a single connection going in and out, and everything is yielding one symmetrical loop where each connection is powering a single component. This is best practice. This is due to the fact that if a component fails, it doesn't affect other components. That's a fact. And I'm telling you guys right now, the biggest thing we see with daisy chaining with these DIY crowd, they don't think of, well, you know, if this power supply fails, it could possibly affect other components in the loop. They don't think like that. Why? Because they don't have experience. This is why I'm telling you, be very cautious. And every end user's manual on components with CNC typically state that. I'm going to bring up an excerpt here from Gecko's site where they specifically discuss do not use daisy chaining. The other thing I want to discuss for a final time, hopefully, is using crimp connectors. Crimp connectors, once again, are inherently known to fail, especially used in precision electronics. I always prefer soldering. It is more labor, but a weld supersedes any crimp. Fact, if it's done properly, and properly means with proper technique, solder, and flux. The majority of end users do not do soldering because of the cost, number one, the time, and then the know-how. 